say, can you see by the dawn's early light? Today's Padres game started on a special note, especially for us here at Fox 5 with the son of our former anchor, the late Lorne Nancaro, singing the national anthem. I spoke with Graham Nancaro just before he belted out the Star Spangled Banner today about the honor of singing in front of his hometown crowd and finally playing before a live audience after a year of shutdowns. Oh, say can you see? It feels really good to go back and get love and support from the hometown and to be able to sing at a professional baseball game of my favorite team, living the dream. By the dawn's early light. It's a cool experience to be part of the opening and the magic that everyone's opened up entertainment again. It was a dream his dad, former Fox 5 anchor and local TV icon for some 30 plus years, Lorne Nancaro, endorsed fully. What's the best piece of advice he gave you? That's a great question. I think he, I think it was just don't don't give up on what you love. Honestly, and to that to this day I have not given up on what I love because of those words. And if he didn't approve of my dream, I can't say I would be living it right now because he had such an influence on my life. So you won't be walking out there alone today. Heck no. Heck no. He's up there. He's up there. He's probably pissed. It's cloudy. <laughs> I understand. Graham used this past pandemic year to form a new band, penning a song that landed their video on country music television. We wrote the song called I Understand, I Will Never Understand. And it's just, uh, you know, about the injustice going on in America right now. Or the rain. Parts we lost. This isn't Graham's first time up to bat singing the national anthem at a Padres game, but he says it took a lot of BP to get here. How did it come about? I thought through a lot of botched national anthems around California over the last 10 years. <laughs> so now I'm finally ready for the big leagues. For the land of the free. And there is a little more pressure to get it right when your last name is Nancaro. Do you feel a sense of responsibility to carry on the Nancaro name? Absolutely, absolutely. Just stay out of trouble, keep it, keep the dirt off the name. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's a, a not, not a pride thing, but I do want to honor his legacy. I don't want to make an embarrassment of it. And uh, it's a last name that's not very common. Unless you're from San Diego. But for all of San Diego who thinks that they really knew your dad because he was in their living room for 30 plus years, what didn't they know about him? Uh, I, they probably didn't get to see his quirky side. His uh, sense of humor was just off the chain. Like, we'd be playing catch and he'd be like, Back when I used to play for the Yankees, you know, uh, and <laughs> for a while there were in the beginning when I was like young, I'd be like, whoa, really? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and then the next time we throw in the football, I'd be like, back when I played for the Jets, man, I was a stud. <laughs> the men wanted to be me and the women wanted me. It was always class. He's just hilarious, you know, and he knew f fun, cool facts. And I missed that stuff. Now I tell the facts to my friends and a lot of times it's totally wrong. He was funny about that, too. Sometimes he was a little off on the facts. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. The world according to Lauren. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it was really fun to be a part of Lauren's world while he was here. He lost his battle with brain cancer in 2013. And if you would like to enjoy Graham Nancaro's music, you can find it on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. He plays regularly in Nashville, Tennessee, and returns to San Diego, often playing in Pine Valley just tonight. And we have a link on our website to Graham Nancaro's band at Fox 5. SanDiego.com. It was great to revisit the Nancaro clan.